with Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let the Super Kid Party! Yeah, pay the money for that. No one. And of course, you gotta get the coffins. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Wednesday night to one and all here. Just give me one split second here, chat. The one thing I didn't check is the one thing I didn't uh, work on here. Damn it. There we go. Now it's changed over. There you go. Now you got me. Uh, hey, Zodiac. Good to see you here tonight. Still Penguin. Good to see you as well. We're going to have some fun tonight. We got a, I think we got a little bit to talk about. Little bit to talk about. Plus, we got some uh, announcements to come up. I got some plans coming up here uh, in the uh, LO future here, a.k.a. starting in October here. Um, yeah, how's everybody's day? I show up for AEW. I stay for the show. Stop. Ah. That's right, folks. We're going to be back here for week 22. And... Uh, we have the show stop uh, Trent Shaw here leading our WWE SmackDown. Uh, as we are going into our final four shows. What week are we on? 22? So 22, 23, 24, 25. Our final four shows going into uh, WrestleMania here. Our finale is going to be next Saturday night with uh, Collision. And then uh, starting in October, we're going to have season three. So, I got a couple of things I'll break down here for you, but uh, I, I think since we're there, we might as well uh, start with there. Our feet, your day was great. Made it through the next phase of a tremendous opportunity. How How is the testing going? Because I know um, yesterday I got a chance to listen to the Soul Calibur episode, and you said you took a, te took a test to pass the exam to get another test, which... Doesn't surprise me the least, especially when we're dealing with government stuff. Hey, Jay Quick, good, good to see you here. Next test on Monday. Hey, at least they're giving you some time in between. I remember when I was doing a uh, whole bunch of government tests for like uh, in retail. I used to be like a an examination director for uh, staff selling lotto tickets and such. So. One more for the good guys. Jimmy NASCAR just rolling right in there. Good to see you here, Jimmy NASCAR 365. Oh, I know it's not the government. I'm just, I don't work in the government either. Just it was a government department. So they, I was just more saying that they think we're robots and, you know, we got to take all three tests in one day. And funny how, funny how I was the only one that passed. When you have a room of 20 and there's only one person passing, maybe it's your testing that's the problem. But Jimmy, thank you for the fall. Welcome to the player's pit. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the company. Watch out for the punch because you'll meet McGee probably later on here. And I think he spiked it still, but we're still trying to figure that out. Well, we got our first time out of the evening. Oh, great. This should be exciting. Diamond, especially a Grand Slam. Absolutely, Jay Quick. Thank you for changing topics there for a quick second there. Wow, that was... Yeah. Uh, Tonight, we got... Well... What the hell is that? Mr. Jericho taking on Orange Cassidy. We got a Beast versus a Bullet when uh, the Beast Mortos takes on Ricochet. Uh, we got uh, a trios match with, yeah, that trios match. Takeshita, Fletcher, and uh, Osprey versus the Elite minus Jack Perry. Like, that's a little bit of a, that's a little bit of crazy. And yeah, just, uh, oh, in the women's match here, we got Aminata and, uh, yeah, 
We got basically we got. I was trying to remember exactly what that tag match was, but I know it's Aminata on one side teaming up with uh, Yuka Sakazaki taking on Mariah May and Saraya. I do. That doesn't sound right. Serena, there we go. My bad. The 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 feud from Collision, of course. I'm a dunce here. I'm I'm one of the six people that are watching Collision here from Canada every week. So I should know that. Thank you, Jay Quick. Uh, yeah. And everything else they got lined up. Like they're probably gonna have a Nigel segment again. They'll have a Daniel. They might have a Danielson segment. Uh, we're gonna get a ton of stuff coming up here, but um. Just a quick heads up. Uh, like I said, I had a couple announcements that I wanted to drop before we start here. Once again, season three is going to be one of our feature uh, of uh, WW2K. My GM mode is going to be a feature coming forward. Uh, it's going to be starting up on October 2nd, the, the Wednesday after Dynamite. We're going to run it the same way. As long as we don't have a pay-per-view interfering, so that first Wednesday... Will actually be a double episode because we got uh, bad blood that night, and we got. Uh, I'm assuming collision is probably going to be before that. Hell, we don't know what's going to happen because we got. We might have a TV deal coming down. So, either way, I'm calling it right now. Next went two weeks from today, we're going to get a double episode of uh, my GM mode here. So, and then uh, the other feature game that we're having. Wonder who Mox and Shafir beat up a random. Well, we'll see. Uh, the other two feature games we're going to have are Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is going to be at, right after we finish Astrobot. And the other game, and this is the fun announcement here. Immediately following Monday Night Raw on Monday, since they are going to two hours, we are going to be playing Mutant, Le Mutant Football League for the Xbox One uh, here believe we're going to do franchise mode. I, I like to do some kind of Halloween based game. And since we got echoes of wisdom that just came out, I don't want to, I don't want to have two RPGs going up at once. So let's play a little mutant football league. There's no Buffalo team. So we'll figure out a team that we're going to use here and just uh, move along that way. The other news is, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking and a lot of people have been out there. As long as I can figure out the moderation controls for, because Let's face it, I'm mostly a moderator myself. Starting in October, we're probably going to do simulcasting of specifically the simulcast of uh, AEW, both here and on YouTube. A lot of people are doing it now, so I thought maybe we should... Oh, here comes BCC. Jay Quick, you're right on... Jay Quick's right on it, right to begin the show here tonight. So, But most importantly, more than anything else, the most important thing about tonight, thank you for being here. I truly do appreciate it. I know the uh, September uh, timer is going to go through here, but just a reminder, there's there are discount subs this month. The gift subs will be... Wow, the thank you coming in just right now. Perfect, too. Uh... We, uh, from next Thursday till the following Tuesday, gift subs or buy five, get one free. So if you ever wanted to stop by for a birthday gift, you know, maybe throw some magic around. That's next Thursday, if you guys are wondering. What are those shirts? Wow, that came out real quick. Justin Roberts is injured. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, the 26th, next Thursday. We'll be on here with uh, the new Zelda game. I'm going to pick it up in the morning. I like physical copies, so I will pick it up in the morning. Then I'll be on for most of the day. Well, this should be interesting here. Let me just get this out of the way the now. What was that? Oh, 
Man, Brian looks like he's filled out. Hey, McGee. I hate the fact that you use that right now, but, you know, that made me use it, and I'm like, meh. No, I'm glad to have everybody here once again. It's time to get high, guys. <laughs> Let's just... Maybe a little fairy dust in there. No, I... I do have to appreciate how... Oh my God, did you see what he did to the back of that jacket? Did you see... Zodiac, you need to buy that jacket. You need to buy that jacket now. You need that jacket. Hi, Mick, guys. <laughs> All right, Aubrey, just kick everybody out. We're, we're already getting there. And Aubrey's like, yeah, well, you guys can do whatever outside. I don't care at this point. But no, the, the, the big news obviously has to be, well, I, I have to say some big news as well as uh, the, uh, the big question. The big news is, of course, the TV deal looks like it's going to be official as of next uh Next Thursday is pre supposedly when they're going to announce it, and that's just going to be the end of it. Thank goodness. So talk of that. I'll shut up finally. Jericho ain't doing anything. Oh, brother. I love Cassidy's response. Cassidy just... That reminds me of 2K24 right there. That reminds me of 2K24. 2K24. One thing that pisses me off in that game is when a wrestler will sit there and do a taunt and then the other wrestler just comes up, pow, give him a signature. So the 175 million a year officially making AEW profitable, the 175 plus. And here's the other part of Two parts of it that make it really exciting for me. And also question it for me. Um, number one, pay-per-views are not part of that deal. They're, I believe there's an additional deal for Max, I do believe, for the pay-per-views. How is that going to affect Canada? Because if, if they can move it on to Crave here in Canada, I'll just save myself 50 bucks a month. Thank you. Because I've already got Netflix, so I don't have to worry about that. And then, uh... Jericho's an idiot sometimes. <laughs> Wrestling-wise. Um, the other part of it, and this is, this is part of my question I was going to ask you guys. Did anybody get an opportunity to watch the NFL documentary on Tony Khan uh, prior to Dynamite tonight? It wasn't available here in Canada. You did, Jay Quick? It was it was supposed to be on FS1, which is a big, big, big thing, if you guys didn't notice. AEW, well, how do I put this the right way? Fox did not even wait for the body to cool before they put different wrestling on their channels. They didn't even wait more than a week and a half. <sighs> Once is a good try. Second time is bye bye. Five hundred dollars on a sub if you fart in the mic. Yeah, great. You know what? I may not be the richest stream in the world, but I'm not an idiot.
Fox did drop WWE. That's what I mean. Like, it's not even the body's cold. And they're already switching over to a different product. Like, what was it, a week and a half ago? And they're already bringing in AEW programming on their TV stations. Like, to me, that is flipping amazing. And it really shows what happened with that whole situation. Fox... There were talks about how Fox still wanted to have wrestling on their channel. I would fart in a mic for 50 bucks money first, though, yeah. Um... How long is WWE contract with Sportsnet? Till January. Uh, all WWE events, including PLEs and everything, are moving to Netflix in Canada and internationally wherever possible uh, starting in January. While the States has three different channels for their stuff, Canada will all have one source, and it's Netflix for all, all things WWE. Excited that the pay-per-views will be involved with Maxwell? Nobody's confirmed that yet. I am not counting on it until it happens. And if it is on Max, I hope it gets moved over to Crave. Well, yeah, Hulu's done with WWE as well. That that makes sense too, because... Netflix going to be... Int well, here's the other thing, and a lot of people don't realize this. They did mention this in... Uh, They did mention this in the announcement as well. Netflix did respond about the, oh, we're not going to have any commercials anymore. No, no, they're going to have commercials, but they're not going to be... You have to have them at a set per, set point in time during the hour, right? Like you have to in uh, on TV. So, for example, if you're going to have a women's match that's going to be 12 minutes... You're going to get the 12-minute women's match, then you'll get a commercial. So it's going to be a lot more like the PLEs in that sense. The commercials are going to make a lot more sense as to where they need to be. And there's not going to be that stupid filler time. If you guys remember that infamous match between... Uh, who was it? Kari Sane and Alexa Bliss. Where they literally just uh, stood... Or no, it was Nikki Cross and Kyrie, Kyrie Sane. That's what it was where they literally just stood in the ring for two minutes while the commercial was on, since there was nobody there. So I'm going to miss the first 30 minutes of every WWE show. Hey, you can always start over from the start a lot easier now, so. Wonder what happens to the Peacock deal once it expires with WWE transfer. Who knows? Like, I'm a little foolish myself. I should go to... Net I should go to Sportsnet Plus for the next three months and get rid of my network because I haven't used it, but I find it's just easier to watch everything on the network because Sportsnet Plus is hard to get on your TV. And you got to sort of, you got to cast your desktop to your TV to watch it if you don't want to watch it off your monitor. But yeah, Netflix is definitely going to be an interesting experiment. And the fact that WWE is the first of means they're going to be able to work on some different things and experiment and see how things go. And Apparently there is a... Netflix is a 10-year contract with a five-year five year initial option with, uh, with Netflix allowing themselves to cancel after five years if they wish. And yeah, the other announcement with Saturday night's main event going to Long Island on the 14th. Which I'm happy it's the 14th, not the 28th. Because there were a lot of talks and a lot of doom and gloom going out there saying... Saying that uh, it was going to be during World's End, which... Let's face it, for WWE, that's just dumb. Even... Even if it is a network channel? Pay-per-view with Trumps. I... I and not that kind of Trump. Just... Uh-oh. If you think about that other one. Netflix cancels everything after two seasons, though. <laughs> touche, my friend. Touche. Well, there goes a uh, timekeeper's table.
This is where you... Can Netflix cancel Jericho? I'm using magic a lot today for some reason, so... No, it's going to be fun to see here and... You know, I'll just be happy that everybody gets a chance to watch wrestling... A little more, I, th I think it's going to be a little more easier for some people. Personally, I find it a little more difficult. The, the reason I don't like Netflix is the choice for wrestling is I do like to flip back and forth, right? Between football and, or, you know, basketball during the winter while that's off. Man. What the hell is that? Vic, you're number three doing that now. Damn it. <laughs> There you go. Now using the high emojis. I appreciate those. I appreciate those. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you here. Heels, pops, and chair shots every Thursday night. I'm doing good. I'll be on. I'll be frankly honest with all all of you here. I lost track of time for the day today. I totally did. I got a bunch of match or a bunch of sh uh, videos edited up and ready to go. Still got two more to go yet. Thank you for adding more of those emotes in there. Just remember, if you are a sub, you get some bonus emotes. Probably uh, coming up in the new year, I'll work on getting some new ones. I do want to get the... Uh, I need to get the, the refixed overlay. I like subs. Oh, difference... Mm. I'm just excited that, you know, you Americans have it so easy with all these different branches. We just got, I don't know if you heard of them. Uh, I believe they're called Firehouse Subs. I'm really looking forward to trying those. Two of them have just popped up here in Edmonton on the south side here. Or more so on the west end, not the south side. But I can't wait to try those out because all we had for, we had like Mr. Sub and uh, Subway and such. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. And the other reason I'm looking forward to them, too, is the fact they do have. Um, they have been using streaming opportunities as well. So you never know. I, I've seen Maximilian do do a couple uh, firehouse streams. So I'm not that big, so I doubt I'd be doing anything like that. But you never know these days. It's always good to dream big, right? As we're getting back from the commercial break here. No, when you, this feud here, this sadly made sense. This match here sadly made sense. They didn't tie up the bow on the, on the feud before. So the fact you get to have this. I think Toronto's getting a Jimmy John's. Anything that supports Bork Laser, the wrestler, not the human. Well. It, it's tough to say which part of Bork Laser you shouldn't support because uh, in many ways you could think that how much uh, it, I'm getting into that lawsuit and I just don't want to right now that's just ugh. Watch these guys just unload right now. Wait, sorry, I cut the Jimmy Johns shot. Anytime there's new stuff coming in, I like this. Yeah, sorry, just go that way. So, yeah, McGee, just to throw it out with the Blue Jays there, they get to, they get a chance to make history tonight. If they win tonight. Which they got Bone Francis on the hill, which even though his catcher got DFA'd this week. Le Bat Blue Jays, every Canadian loves them, I have heard. Not quite ever, not quite all of them. A good portion of them, though. Well, it's the only one we're able to get consistently on free TV, right? So. That's why we, uh. We're, we're more of a LeBlanc Blue. 
not a bad blue jay. But uh, they get a chance to eliminate the defending World Series champions tonight. If Bowden Francis could pull out this victory here. Orange trying here. So you wonder you wonder if Jericho's going over time today? We've, we're already 20 minutes in here right now. Maybe we'll get Moxley just to come out and wreck everybody in this match and just end it that way. Of course he's going over time. That's what he does. You notice they're not calling it the Walls of Jericho? Because if they tell, if they call it the Walls of Jericho, that's uh, copyright infringement. Oh, uh, video game fans, by the way, just a quick, uh, a quick note here. Speaking of infringement, if you didn't see the news, uh, Nintendo's actually suing someone again. They, uh... The guys in uh, the guys from Nintendo are actually suing Paul World for uh, likeness. Oh, Big Bill made it back in. So it makes you wonder where uh, Kyle O'Reilly went. Oh, there he goes. Now he's back. They're going to kill the Pokemon with guns. Probably the lot. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. I do not want to see. What the hell is Jericho? When is the last time you've seen Jericho do a Death Valley driver? And, and I'm being totally serious on this point. That's been, it's been forever since I've seen him pull that off. Not that it's over a spectacular move, but he's going outside his repertoire here a little bit. And I'm, I'm happy for it. Well, if this is going to be the last match, I, I hope it would be a good one. And I agree with you, Zodiac. I agree with you completely. Me and not working is a very good match, too. Just remember that. Nice, DDT. Why is Orange going to the top? Why is Orange going to the top? Jericho not being on TV is a perfect match. <laughs> yeah, no, we're only getting four matches tonight, and this is the reason why. Because what, they're at, tw they're at 20 minutes already. Code breaker. No, no. If he doesn't hit the Judas effect, it doesn't count. He's got to hit all five of his finishers before he can win this. This almost feels like some of the stuff we've done in 2K. Where that rivalry ended up being expired and we still end up getting five stars out of it. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure that everybody... Oh. 
All right, more shenanigans. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! You know, Swords took kept the ten bucks. I would. I hope it's quarters. That's ten bucks. That's part of the money that uh, Orange had to give uh, Jericho. They dropped off at his vehicle last Saturday, last week. Which realistically should have all been pennies, but I digress. That's like $85 Canadian. We want Orange Cassidy. They got a picture of Barbie. I, I, I didn't see the full tweet. So what are we getting here? So are they calling themselves the greater good now? The greater good? That'd be a hell of a faction name. Realistically. You know what's funny? They won't uh, They won't show the whole story on this match. The fact that he didn't do anything until Anthony Henry started mentioning seeing hot fuzz and stuff. No, I haven't. I like this. Wow. You know what I'd like to see, to be perfectly honest here? I would love to see Wheeler get in the ring and just eat a pin. Just volunteer to eat a pin. Like, instantly go down. First, watch it. Second, the greater good is said a lot and it's funny. Eh. This faction might actually allow Pac to come off as a bastard. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for having me, Cass. Well, you're welcome, sir. I 
Roderick, don't say too much about... Don't say too much to Taz. Last time somebody did that, they lost their title. Holy crap. Sorry, just... The, uh... The idiots are out tonight. I'll put that politely. Thank goodness Twitch had a little catcher on that. So they're announcing it's live on pay-per-view still. So I'm assuming that it's just going to be regular pay-per-view situation for that. The new, the new max deal might start in January. Well, he's definitely got ink on him. This match should last all of 45 seconds. I don't know if heart's the word you're going to have to worry about here in this match. This will be quick. Post Malone escaped 2K24. <laughs> You'd have to shave his face, though, a little bit. Get that beard trimmed up pretty good. Oh, uh, we're going to have to see what... Uh, see if maybe we can pick up somebody from that international pack. By the way, I've already picked that up for it tonight, so... If we end up going free agent shopping, we might be able to pick up some of those free agents that are there. Just for McG, we'll bring in... Uh... Oh, yeah, that was... Pfft. Post Malone lasts longer than that in a match. But, yeah, we might just have to bring in Jade Cargill just for, uh, just for McG or something. By the way, I tried real American beer. Oh. I'll just leave that there. The ink ran dry. Hold that one for you, Jay, quick. I just thought he ran out of ink more than anything else. Well, that's how we blow through two matches in, well, half an hour. Jericho gets 25 minutes, Hook gets five minutes. No, I think we're getting five now. I think originally they only had four, four lined up. I think they got five now and six with the hook match. But who's their partner? Command Arrigan? Ah, home of the Penguins. AHL farm. The farm team for the Penguins. Who most NHL teams have opened up training camp today. Woohoo. But by the way, how was uh, Real America Beer tonight, uh, Mr. Zodiac? I, I, I like this for a good laugh. Because, well, frankly, I've heard the reputation of American beer being rather limited. Andrew, how the hell are you doing, Bucklocks? How are you doing there? Uh, Hope you're doing well here tonight, sir. 
Everybody just piling in here tonight. Love to see everybody here. Yeah, we're we're having a fun time tonight here watching a little AEW Dynamite. Gonna have WWE 2K after this. And then uh yeah, tomorrow, Astrobot. Pretty part private party. You sure you want that smoke? I think the, what what do we do here? No, 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 please, no. I had it on Saturday. It tasted hilarious. Eh, that's that's an interesting way to put it. I, I'm not a big beer drinker myself, so I, 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 I will drink when I can, when I, you know, relax and have some time too. Oh, my gee, we definitely know you like beer. But, uh, yeah, Andrew, how are you doing? How How's everybody doing? I know that uh, Zodiac's uh, working on some stuff, getting edumacated and uh, tested and, you know, working on some great projects. All right. I know you guys can't see this. But we've gotten our fourth best viewers bot tonight already. In half an hour, and I'm very impressed about that. That means we're growing. The fact that we got so many people in here, we're enjoying things so much here. And yeah, just I'm glad that everybody's here and everybody's having a good time here tonight. We had we had a couple good matches to start. Um, just uh, oh, by the way, once again, I do apologize for no streams earlier this week. I guess I should mention the other part of it. Ugh was uh, 30, two 32 hour shifts broken up over the week and then just the oh I, I totally get that bucklogs that's just basically what I'll, say. I'll get back to you McG in one sec here uh, you're talking about changing schedules and whatnot well this month at work we're in the middle of everybody booking time off. So, yeah, I've been taking extra on-calls. That's why we haven't had Monday streams. We didn't have a Friday stream last week. We will have one this week, hopefully. Oh, goody Christian. But, yeah, getting the schedules maintained. Next week's going to be fun. I start holidays next Tuesday. And we're going to be on here a lot. I love how the clipboard says next AEW champion. Got moved to the pilot group at Toyota helping the new RAV4 to be built. Had to sign NDA and it, hey, don't let anything out. When, it, when everybody finds out it's a complete electric car and it's called the Tesla 2, I, I'm sure everybody will tell you. That's definitely not happening. Uh. Toyosla. Hey, there you go. Center screen is just your X feed. If you don't have one, you have one. <laughs> Toyota's pushing hybrid hard, hybrid over electric. The next vehicle that I purchase will be. I'm probably going to go with a hybrid myself because I do like that mix. I guess I understand everything the way it works. You're not saving the world, the environment, all that bullshit, whatever. I try to remind everybody I'm going to be around for another 40, 50, 40, 50 years at best. 40 years is pushing it, to be honest. So I'm not really worried about it. Yes, I know that's a heartless thing to say, but yeah. 
Uh, I did sing and you went away, but now I'm back. Glad to be back. Well, somebody find Nigel. I really do love this transformation in uh, this uh, transition of uh, Mariah into the character that she is now. At least I could do a, a thousand mile trip with a hybrid. Hey, yeah. I think Nigel's trying to get an answer for Danielson. Probably. Mariah's got to be a little upset the fact that this isn't Mina she's teaming with. But it, it's interesting to see how well Amanada is. In, like we talked about on Saturday, the fact that Amanada is so new. Like literally, she's just what, a couple years? Like we've had her here live and in Edmonton here and absolutely fantastic watching her work. You notice where she's from? I wonder if anybody else picked up on that. Did anybody else pick up on where Yuka's from? If you're a fighting game or a beat em up fan, you should completely get that one easy. Yuka is from Southtown. If anybody remembers Final Fight. I love that, you know, Sheeta has her Yakuza gimmick. You got the final fight with uh, Yuka. I'm really She might know a guy. Maybe. Might know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who's going to beat up a guy here. So that five-year anniversary, do you think they have Baker on it? So she knows Cody too? <laughs> five-year anniversary coming up. That's going to be our first... That, like I mentioned earlier, if all, everything goes well, as long as I can figure everything out, the five-year anniversary will be the first night we are simulcasting both on YouTube and on Twitch. It's the cool thing now, so we'll be working on that. I'm, I got a sore hip, if that helps. No, uh, McGee, we mentioned that. Uh, no, no, you had it right the first time, McGee. Don't, don't correct yourself. You're right. Except you missed the RE for the other word in the middle. But uh, if you missed it off the top of the show, yeah, plans are to uh, to start simulcasting on uh, YouTube on YouTube just the wrestling portion. The uh, WWE 2K24 will remain Twitch exclusive because I want to edit that up and make it look all purdy and separate. The other thing about doing it that way, I can also edit the VOD a lot easier straight off YouTube and just let it run. Well, it looks like Amanat is taking all the beings to this one. So we're going to hear from Moxley again. So we're getting a three, three segment night from Moxley. I don't mind that. How 
How did Moxley earn Daniel's sh shot? All he did was threaten Darby. Hell, if I could just threaten somebody to get everything they have, you know I'd be a rich man right now? Oh, people love Mox. AEW given a lot of them, yeah. You know what? I don't think it's that bad to have Mox like that. But yeah, uh, just... I, I like the fact that they're getting this tag match in here, getting everybody involved. That's uh, the two future feuds that are going on here. Cause I'm pretty sure that uh, Yuka's going to be Mariah's next one. Maybe even at wrestle dream, they might actually be able to hold it out that far. I don't know. Do you guys think they hold out the feud that far? Cause realistically we got what three weeks after grand slam. For the, it's funny. We get three weeks from Grand Slam to to Wrestle Dream, and then we actually get some time to breathe. Because after Wrestle Dream is uh, full gear, which would probably be over a month, so. But yeah, that's. Uh, It isn't like we're short of wrestlers to be able to do stuff like this. I, I just got a feeling that the entire game is going to change quite a bit once we get to uh, once we get to October here all together. Because when you got you got AEW lining up their TV deal, you got a potential show on Fox coming up, which is going to even if it is FS1. The number of eyes that are going to get on the AW product, and I don't care what anybody says. You, you, even if you put a, put it in Rampage's spot, the dirty spot on Friday. After SmackDown's all done, you still put it on FS1 in that time slot. You're going to get more eyes on Dynamite. You're going to get more eyes on Collision. You're going to get more eyes on the pay per views, or the PLEs, whatever they end up being after that. It's all good to make sure that we get all this. So I'm just really impressed on how all that happened there. So, but speaking of more eyes on a product here, I, I did allude on something on X earlier this week. I guess I should, you know, follow through on the story here. Um, I had a, that was, that was the coldest hot tag I've ever seen. Because they missed the first one. But uh, one of our local wrestling personalities, somebody I've worked with before, actually messaged me because he is going to be starting up an AEW sidecast watch along, same as I am. And he wanted to, you know, just ask me if it's okay and don't want to step on any toes as far as I'm concerned I'm... when it comes to sidecasts the people that I look up to the most right now is somebody like a Wheezy Blonde I don't know if you guys get a chance to watch uh, Raw or Smackdown with her there very positive channel very great community there until they be a bunch of idiots but I digress at times but she's working with Santi Zap, which is also another streamer for that. There are plenty of places where you can watch. And there's plenty of different tastes that people have. I'm like, go ahead. It doesn't bother me at all. That's why I love you guys. You guys are such a great community here that to get to hang out with. And we are going to be growing, of course. But at the same time, I'm not afraid to share the wealth. More eyes the merrier, just like McGee said in the chat here. If I can get 10 people to watch AEW here, he gets another 10 to watch there. Maybe something start opening more people that haven't normally been watching. Oh, wow. There you go.
Oh, geez. Uh, is, to is it just me? Or is Tony's mic a little off? A DQ in AEW? What the hell is that? A DQ in AEW. When the hell was the last time we saw that? Is there a blizzard? A This is where you get the Tony Storm music back. Well, it looks like we got our championship feud here. Mariah with the peanut buster parfait. I think some people have thought about Mariah May and some ice cream, but that's a whole different ball of wax altogether. I got feels chat. I got what the not sure where to go with that. I'm sure there's a lot of things that people want to go with that. I, I, I digress at that. Now, do they work together? Do they do they feud? Mina and Mariah at full gear would be an absolute I, 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 I'll repeat myself, sure. It's so funny, I was, uh, is Mina teasing all, um, I don't think she's outright teasing, I think she's damn right saying it. Uh, Mina has mentioned that her time is running up in stardom here a fair bit. And she has planned to move to the States. So I'm pretty sure Mina can, Tina, Mina can tease whatever the hell she wants. I'll give me that. Holy crap. Well, Getting an endorsement by Adam uh, Adam Blank is always a good thing. I want to give a shout out to him here, but yeah. If you guys didn't check out the old bo box here, uh, Adam gave me a little shout out about uh, tonight and tomorrow and whatnot. So about t today's stream, tomorrow's stream. I think everybody wants Mina. Like let's not let's not kid ourselves. Sorry, I'm just. I'm getting notes here and notes there and notes. Stimulation is the key word here. Lots of stimulation. There's a clippable moment if you ever want one. Feel free. Uh, and you can clip your own. You can send. Now that Twitch allows you to export your own clips over to Twitch. So you or to that shitter. I'll just say it for you, Zodiac, just for there. So feel free to do whatever you want with that. Uh, anyway, just, uh, yeah, AEW is doing a good job of picking up talent the way they need to. And yes, they over, 
overpicked up talent before, but now first you got to go for quantity, and now you can just pick your qu quality a little bit more here now that you have that base. And I'll tell you, Thursday's going to change the game a fair bit here with the fact that it, for all metrics that are coming out, it's going to be very simple. You're going to have WWE, AEW, everybody else. There's, it, there is going to be a pecking order established under all, any metric that you can look at. Is AEW going to be first? No. Adam on Angry Idiot. I don't like AEW. Adam after Hot Japanese. <laughs> no, I think he was just saying that, you know, since I'm doing streams tonight, feel free to check things out. So. All right. So they're starting to throw up the card for next week, which is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I, I guess I can comment about that a little bit here when it comes to not liking it. The reasons he didn't like AEW was the uh, lack of detailed stories and whatnot. I personally feel AEW award, rewards fans that watch long term because these little bits and pieces of story get together. Because if you're just picking it up on a random week yes they're giving you some details about it but the entire story you're not going to get unless you go in there and dig um is your video screwing up okay good it's them not us i'm like what the hell's going on with the video It, it did you guys get that last week when uh, Nigel put up that promo video? He showed all the parts of. I, I love this. I love every little bit of this. Like, I'll call it right now. It's non title. Nigel wins. Danielson puts over Nigel. It, it's his retirement match. What if Brian says no, you only get it after you lose the belt? Could. Dual retirement match? Eh. Here's the thing. I. He said when he loses the title, he's out. He didn't say that he next time he loses he's out. So if the title's not on the line, then thank God they got rid of Wild Thing. Well, here's the thing. Here's the other part. They added the Death Rider part to it. They uh, they didn't want a song that people were going to be singing to, right? Because they are supposed to be heels. And I think they're going to show it here. Tony spent all the wild thing money on Europe. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. 
That security guard's like, yeah, get the hell away from me. Real reason Mox turned. I think people are going to cheer Mox. There's always going to be that contingent that cheer good wrestlers. But for the most part. And I know Moxley has this gift. Moxley has a way to make you hate him. All right, can, can can I just throw something out here? Marina doesn't have any fear of going after the guys, right? Why would you do... Why near to two people? Why would you wait for three? Because look... Oh my God. Choke slam on the knee. Another version of an Irish curse backbreaker, which is why Christian's the best heel. I want to boom because I love him. Doji's private party didn't want nothing, yeah. Let's put it this way I don't think private party is going to be the team that goes up against them at Grand Slam. Shafir ripping apart Claudia or was that Zay? Oh, it's Quinn. Sorry. Wouldn't surprise me as a low blow. I don't think they care either, though. So Shafir divers. Let's let it wait out. All right, Claudio, time the lawn dart. Time the lawn dart commander somewhere here. I don't know what's worse on that. The uppercut or the fact that uh, commander Sh Sasha banks herself. And Claudio just dumps Commander into the crowd. What the hell are you looking for? What the hell is he doing with a hammer? If I had a hammer... If I had a hammer. Well, there's a broken hand. Well, we're obviously not getting private party next week.
Claudio's pissed. Marina's literally holding back Claudio. That's something I don't see. Wow. Private party missing time due to injury. He said he'd give him something new. <laughs> now, I'd like to see what, what's going to happen here in terms of getting a title shot put together and whatnot. Shafir can't smile. She's not supposed to. She's playing China. That's what she's doing. She's playing the China role. That's the difference between her and Camille. Camille can loosen up a little bit. Especially with uh, Mercedes around and whatnot. So. All right, Perry, what do you got now? Oh, wave from... This is edgy D. It's pretty much what it is. That's where it all started from, right? So wanting to buy a scapegoat van? Go to any dump. I'm sure you can find a van like that. It's a Ford. So you know there's plenty of them running around, you know, different garbage dumps and, you know, junkyards. and Because we all know the state of Fords can't move worth crap. Found on road dead, fix or repair daily. I don't know which one you want to use for an acronym for that. It's a perfect gimmick for people. Well, you want to talk about the perfect situation for somebody? Like, Perry literally had nothing going for him as Jungle Boy. They broke up that feud. Then he tried to be the elitist basically the opposite of what he was before and he just he's a little bit of both all right folks get buckled in we got a match here now ricochet and the beast mortos i swear i swear ricochet I understand superheroes only have one set of gear, but damn it, buddy. You might want to get a second set of, you know, tights and whatnot. You did work at WWE for a few years. You couldn't have wore the same thing every time. Burn it down! You need to talk to Monet. I think so. No, but in all seriousness, this is going to be a fun match. Best example you can give about how good this match is going to be. Go back and check uh, the debut of uh, Hologram as he took on the Beast Mortos in his first match on Collision. Mortos is such a great... And the technical term for it is post... Like, if, if you guys watch GCW or the Independent Circuit, Ringo Loco is known as the Post God. And uh, once again, that's another opponent Hologram had in his first set of matches. All the high flyers could buzz around them and make things, you know, cool. And I think Ricochet could definitely use somebody like that. Now, we all talked about his first match being a little bit rough against uh, 
Well, his match against Kyle Fletcher was a lot better. Let's put it that way. Oh, we're definitely going to approve that. Gringo Loco is absolutely legendary. I'm glad he got his AEW credit the way that he did. We're going to hear from Hangman? Well, I wonder if Jeff Jarrett's around. Because apparently that's the feud we're going with there. Is uh, Jared and Hangman now. If anybody had their beginning a 2024 bingo card together, there is no way in hell you could have told me that Jeff Jarrett was going to be in a feature, feature program with one of the top stars in 2024. There is no way in hell you could have said that. What's he got? God, that clothesline looks awesome. Ricochet makes the best moves, like the biggest moves, just seem like simple transition moves. Oh, uh, Vic, before I forget, if you picked up 2K, uh, WWE 2K, did you get the deluxe version? Or just the regular version, because if you've picked up the deluxe version, if anybody in the chat's picked up the deluxe version, don't forget to uh, pick up the new global pack that was here today. It is included with the deluxe pack, so. Jesus! Deluxe, baby! Mortos deserves a push. Unless he hurt his knee right now. Uh-oh, another shot to the outside. What's going to happen now? You're going to go again? This is not smart. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Kevin Steen, eat your heart out. Eat your heart out with that power bomb. That was full release and full bend by Ricochet there. Jesus. And yes, I did say Kevin Steen. A man can dream, can he? But, uh, yeah, no, it, I hope that with this new extra uh, chat, here's a question for you. Here's, here's a great question for you. And we're talking about this all day. And I know that for the next two weeks, it's going to be the nonstop talk, right? About the TV deal and what's going to be coming up. What if like, is it is AEW Shockwave if it goes to Fox like they said? Is it going to be original con uh, content or is it going to be like a clip like a clip show of what happened on the other two shows? I'm assuming it's going to be original content, and it appears that Rampage is outlived Thunder, but still not going to last. Which I I feel bad and I don't feel bad about. I, I don't feel bad about it because I don't watch it now. I feel bad because of the history that it had. Because that's the original second show, right? And the fact that we got such a great... Uh, su such a bunch of great moments involved with it. Like, for example, you got uh, the CM Punk debut. As much as we hate what he did and what Collision turned into while he was there. 
the fact that he showed up on Rampage that one night for the first dance, like, seriously, Punk, that will be one of the moments that's remembered for a very long time in wrestling. And if these two promotions could ever, you know, ever get together, it would be great to see that, you know, you get... that moment will be put into history on either promotion. Like the whole story of AEW. Yes. AEW and punks that will be, it will be basically a Vince McMahon documentary special, which I got a feeling what I'm probably going to do. If you guys don't know the Vince McMahon documentary comes out hours before grand slam next week. If all goes well, I'm going to get up in the morning. I'm going to watch all of it. And I'm just going to get up here and put a five minute video out. Talking about my thoughts and feelings on it. Would you guys want something like that? Or would you like me to get on early on the show to next week and talk about it here live with you guys so we can get interactive with your thoughts and feelings on it? Because I'd like to do that too. I like to get your thoughts on it and, but I'd love to give you a base to uh, see what's going on as well. So, Let me know what you guys think in the chat. Because I got this hankering that I want to do some new videos and just coming up with the time. Like Every time I say I want to do something like this, I just run out of time completely. Oh, God. Oh God, oh, never mind. Nope. Probably won't have much to have, have the time to watch so early would be fun. Okay. So like getting on a little earlier to walk. All right. Cause yeah, I, I do plan on like, it's my vacation. So I'm going to have lots of time to relax here. I got a full week and I probably don't have a whole lot planned right now. Like the birthday's on the Thursday. There's a indie wrestling show in town on Friday. I'm probably going to hit up. That headbutt, I don't know how that's legal. Okay, that could separate a knee in a hurry. Oh, you missed. You were supposed to get caught and then ready to powerbomb. Oh God. It wasn't a car crash, but it pretty much deserved that. Had all the essence of an ECW hardcore match. It had a botch. Mini botch, but a botch nonetheless. It had an impactful move. It had the floor. Is Martos AEW or on loan from CM? Honestly, the way things are going now, it's pretty fluid. I'm pretty sure he's AEW. I think he's actually ROH, to be perfectly honest. Because they aren't really doing the, uh, the ROH cards anymore. You know how they do the AEW cards when somebody signs? They're not really doing the ROH cards anymore. If he isn't signed, he should be. Let's put it that way. But it, with people going in and out of uh, CMLL from AEW all the time now, it's it's a lot more fluid than it used to be. Uh, 
That was a shot. The hell is Martos planning here? No, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no, that would be a lot. All right, here we go. The AEW chance going out. I love it. So they're giving these guys time. And then what do we have left tonight? Just a trios match? We got to hear from Hangman, but I don't think we got anything else tonight. That's funny. That was funny watching uh, watching Ricochet walk instead of run. Axe stomp, not an axe kick. No way. Okay. I feel bad for, you know, I, I that was funny as gear, the, their gears got caught up at each other after the pin. That would have been hilarious if we had to kick out there. I know we're all looking forward to Will versus uh, Will versus uh, Ricochet. I honestly don't think we're, I. I think we can wait for it. I'd love for the see them wait till uh, like even full full gear if they can. Oh, this is that promo they've been putting on on X. This story has been told so well. And it, this is the thing that frustrates me. And it makes me want... What I want to see from AEW, if they can do it. If Once the deal gets settled, if they can figure something out with YouTube or whatever on-demand service that they use, can they do a storylines playlist? Ba basically, on... Twitch should be the equivalent of a payload. Like the story of Hangman Page and Swerve. All the way back from the beginning. The segments. The matches. The, uh, well, speaking of uh, Adam Page. Go back and look at the Kenny Omega and uh, Adam Page feud. And way way that got developed. FTR and the Young Bucks we're seeing here. Even even if you go to the stories like um, Tony Storm, Mariah May, you, you think that wouldn't get a few views? Not just from the sickos in the chat, but from everybody else? Stuff like that. You, you put stuff like up, that up there. There's more than one reason to do it. One, it's a great idea. It gets people, you know, a condensed look at what's going on. It also shuts all these people up that say AEW has no stories. Because what are you going to do? Oh, AEW does have stories. Well, here it is. Watch it and shut up. Like, there are so many different levels to so many different stories. And the fact that they could get so much publicity out of those. Hangman burning down Swerve's house was his best work. Um, that whole line with Swerve, and I'd have to say the fact that they managed to get through that unsanctioned match without without having to go too overboard. And yes, I am saying that saying that there's hypodermic needles and chair shots to the head. 
They didn't need to bring fire into it. Nobody brought a gun out. They managed to tell a hell of a story and ended it off in a perfect fashion. And I'm just... AEW, when these wrestlers are into the story that's going on, they are more than capable of putting on absolute great performances. And that's one of the biggest differences I find now watching storylines here in AEW is if you can get a storyline that a wrestler gets behind, you could see the level of investment that these wrestlers have in terms of what they're doing. And to me, that that just makes it over the moon, right? And that's that extra little step that makes these stories just that much more special. But yeah, we got some great stories going on now, like the story of Danielson, the BCC. Once that's all done, wrapped up, it's going to be a very interesting thing set up here. I'm really looking forward to see what Wheeler's going to do next week. If I'm Wheeler, I get tagged in, I get pinned in three seconds, and I leave. I don't care if it's the Outrunners and... uh, Hell, bring Dalton Castle back for a return, even though he's injured. Yeah, Outrunners, hey. The fact that the Outrunners are getting the getting the early push and they're actually being seen if they could do it. Uh, that's a tag, folks. That's a tag. Look in the FTR Runners. They're already the champs in your eyes. You know what? Give it time. I think they could still get out of here. I just find it funny that I'm watching some people here that clearly don't like the AEW product. And literally, they're just like, oh, that tonight was horrible. The show's horrible tonight. It's not worth watching. Is that the right way to put it? We already did this interview. Being AWs under being under constant time. Yeah, absolutely. But then a week ago you went so far as to say that this was not done to you. Now again, Swerve drives between the lines. Ooh. Tony's trying to stumble through this promo and it's not looking good. Actually the only thing it makes it sound is like he's scared right now. Christian Cage wears socks to bed. Gotta love the signs. Well, he's gone for now. He had this time booked off just like MJF did. Where is it? Let's hear it. (laughs) 
Yep, pretty much everybody would be. Yep. I do appreciate how Hangman was so methodical, so precise in everything that he did. Is it Jeff? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Tony's about to get punched. Tony's about to get punched. There it is. What a pop for Jarrett. What a pop for Jarrett. See, if Jarrett was smart, he would have just coaxed him out early. Let's toss him out. Let's toss him in. Let's toss him out. Let's toss him in. Done a guy job turning his image around with the fa Absolutely. Well, just people need to know the truth, right? His persona has been Carney 101 forever, right? When it comes to Jarrett. Oh, and Jarrett's getting his shots in. Atta boy. He learns how to do this. As soon as Lethal and... This might be a Wrestle Dream match. I don't see it going next week. You can let this one simmer for about three weeks. That is Triple A Tag Team Champion Satnam Singh. There you go. All right, here we go. Hey, there you go. We all know that's happening. All right, so now we got one more interview and then we'll get the introduction for the uh, main event here, I bet.
All right, here we go. I love this. What, 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 what? Five year anniversary. Wow, let's go. Let's go. Two weeks from today. Damn. Wow. Let's go. We got our main event for two weeks from now. We got the trios match coming up after the break here. If JJ got some real offense, it would have been better. Fair enough. I, I think the message has gotten through, though, so... I think as soon as Jarrett started to get aggressive, Paige backed out. That's sort of the motif he has right now is the fact that as soon as he gets in there, Osprey smiling is that Osprey wants competition. He's been dying for these matches for a very long time. And it's just turning out perfectly here for him. So two weeks from tonight, October 2nd, five year anniversary, we got our main event. At least I think it's our main event. Could you imagine if that's not? Could you imagine? What, what, are we, what else are we going to announce? Like, you announce that, and then you announce the TV deal. Just picture that, chat. Just picture that. And it's just, it's amazing. But you know what else is amazing? Keeping up with traditions. Being the last commercial break before we uh, get to our main event. Uh, give you guys a rundown of what's going on here on the channel this week. I'll be back tomorrow, uh, probably noonish uh, Eastern time. Trying to get on here as soon as I can because I want to get through as far as we can with uh, Astrobot. We got a, a good four hours in. We also uh, then Friday. Friday it looks like we'll probably make up that stream we did on uh, we missed on Tuesday with the Capcom Fighting Collection. If the online isn't working that well still for uh, for Steam, for the game, we might just uh, move on to something else. We got... Uh, we might even have... If we, it might be an overflow stream of Astrobot. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. Keep treating on X. We'll see what's going on. Saturday, AEW Collision, Sidecast once again, immediately followed by WWE 2K24... My GM mode week 23 as we get going towards WrestleMania and the ride the momentum that we are going to gain tonight. Uh, Sunday TBD, Monday definitely not. Tuesday we're looking at, uh, Tuesday is the release of Terry Bogart and Street Fighter 6 as well as the Mortal Kombat Chaos Reigns DLC. We're probably going to do the Street Fighter run with Terry Bogard uh, Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, Grand Slam, the release of the McMahon documentary, week 24 of my GM mode, and the go-home to uh, WrestleMania. So, once again, if you're not following, hit that follow button. Let you know when I'm going to be on all the time. If you really enjoy what you see here, consider subscribing. Helps out immensely. Prime subs get get a free sub every month. And 
all subs are 25 to 30 percent off this month so take advantage when you can my friends but most importantly as mr osprey comes out just like what it is with osprey it's just always great to see you matter what all the all the plugging i do doesn't matter it's all about seeing you and yes you could twist that around whatever way you want Too late. Couldn't figure. The, couldn't find the button in time. I really love the new gear on Osprey here. A brand new United Empire in red. That'd be really cool. But yeah, I almost wonder if something's going to happen here between Takeshita and Osprey. <laughs> the cash still left the bag and the cash still left the man and out of boy. I love a team that wears the same color gear all the way around. Even if Osprey ends up wearing an extra gold on it. And even Osprey got, got left hanging too. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's not too often you can get away with five heels and a face in a main event of a, a TV show. Let's make no bones about it. Fletcher's supposed to be a heel. And Takeshita, of course, he is a heel through and through. Gotta appreciate our Akiti's actually doing a pretty good job tonight on ring announcing. Got a coin out of his ear? Oh, somebody screwed up the music. I just love watching Okada go to work here. You notice that they've gone away from the confetti, right? Probably got too much to clean up after. Now this is going to be a fun match. No matter what they're saying here, Takeshita is going to be a star. Like, it, it's so obvious to see. It's all about how you book properly, right? All right, this, this is going to be... 
this is going to be a pick em in terms of how to... Oh, spray! Oh, spray! Oh, spray! Oh, spray! So for the fact Fletcher's starting. It's going to be fun to see how many people they get at uh, Arthur Ashe next week. Nice tag. <laughs> These guys acting like they've never been apart. That's pretty awesome right there. How that's set up. Once again, everybody, thank you for being here. Oh, Takeshita left hanging after he left that. He left the other two hanging. I love it. I love it. Gotta love how somebody flinches like that. Of course, Okada makes him fall for it again. Osprey, you can't be that. Now I'd be wanting to hug him. There's a tag if I ever seen one. I like this overhead view. Sometimes it does help out to, with a little bit of the stuff that's going on. Holy crap, I never thought Okada would do stuff like that. Maybe it's just I haven't seen him well enough. Oh, here we go, three dives. Stereo drop kicks, okay. I don't know if oi 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 it really fits here with Takeshita, but hey, we'll go with it. I'm gonna be honest, I just wanna see these three Oka three Okadas instead of the Bucks. I don't blame you. I, I know a lot of people are tired of the Bucks. Just because, well, they've been here forever. They're on a limited schedule. And we, we've seen these feuds before. Personally, I don't mind it. Like, when the Bucks are there and Bucks want to be in it, they are... They are the best tag team on the planet. I hate this. I hate the break to a lot of people, but... When they have their A game on and they're interested, that's the thing. You got, and this is what we were talking about earlier about storylines and having the wrestlers involved in their storylines, right? Oh, you're not okay. So it's just Okada does his part so well. Yeah, I could see that. I I just three Okadas. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, I would love to see MVC two with three. You know three storms involved and see what kind of mayhem that would be. But I like the mix up. I think the bucks originally, when they started taking over this EVP um, mismatch here about what's going on, I don't know if they really grasped what the concept was supposed to be, but now I think they're a little more running on all cylinders and they're a nice little dichotomy from what uh, Okada is. Long story short, without trying to use too many long words like I just did. 
the elite have different ways of being pricks. And the fact that they could change things up from being a loudmouth prick to a condescending prick to your stereotypical foreigner prick, you know, it sometimes it just works out better that way. So well, I get I get it now exactly what you're trying to say, Zodiac. That you want, that you prefer having you know three Okadas out there just because of how good he is. I'd almost love to see. Well, if you're booking a Will Osprey ricochet, ricochet match to be overbooked to the nineteenth hundred percentile, who else do you bring in? I honestly feel Fletcher is one of them. You give Ray Phoenix one more match before he's out the door. Like that's one match I'm I feel bad that we're not going to get is uh, the Osprey Ray Phoenix match. Because if we were going to get an opportunity to see that that <laughs> I think it's the best way to explain that. Fletcher with a hot tag, and it actually sees pretty warm. Till the old-fashioned rake down the back. Dikesh to try to be a face, cheer the crowd on. I cannot see Fletcher being part of Callus's group that much longer. Tony owes the Lucha Brothers. They put in the work on their contract. Just wanted to try something different. Just say thanks in some way. But here's the thing. I honestly feel that Tony was going to give him the spot at uh, All In to work with Pac and give him that last trios run. But a apparently Penta's the one who wasn't going to be willing to do work. Like he wanted to go out as a champ. He didn't want to lose. Granted, the whole story, I like how it ended up. It's a good story that ended up bad. I, I think that's what the Lucha Brothers are. Letting them run out their contracts, which... If all the scuttlebutt's true, they should be done next week. Like after Arthur Ashe on the Saturday. I, I think that's pretty much going to be... Going to be it for them, so... So Osprey's gone down to help. Penta isn't bad by any stretch, but Phoenix is the main try. Absolutely. Oh, no, I, I totally get it. Like, Phoenix deserves a lot better than what he what he gets in this situation right now. Like, it, it seems like they're icing him out, which... In some ways, I don't blame, but at the same time... I'm with you guys. I'm with, I'm with his Zodiac. I'd like to see him get his, get his flowers on the way out. And yeah, politics are politics, and it sucks. And that's what break. That's what stops giving us great matches. Love that DDT. Oh, Takeshi's just helping him get in the corner. And Okada just got nailed. Atta boy. Okay. 
Nice triple team. Why are you both going after the same buck? If you have a bloated roster, you have people that are saying they're leaving well, you gotta go gotta go get some people the time to do what you're paying for them who aren't leaving, yeah. Oh there's many different situations why. I think it's more about ice and the Lucha Brothers more than anything else. You also got to remember, you had a, the Lucha Brothers asked for, well, if, if stories could be believed, let's just, once again, categorize that statement right away. If those, sta if that's true, if, if all the statements are true that have come out, Penta and Phoenix asked for their release right around the time that Stephanie Vacker pulled her BS. Where the minor one was the thing about being part of AEW, the major part was not dropping the belts properly to in CML on our way out the door. When, t when Tony Khan sees that and sees sees people pulling stuff off at the same time somebody's asking for the release that's gonna make you a little gun shy and wanting to help somebody else right regardless of character between the two people it, it's naturally going to give you an instinct of not wanting to deal with that right so i don't blame tony in a way for what he's doing i don't personally i'd love to see people work right up to the end of their contract I, I do like the I do like the setup of the stories right now that we got going on right now. There's not a whole lot I'd want to fix in general. My personal belief is I am wa actually waiting until after Wrestle Dream, where we actually get a month of build before the next next pay per view. To me, that's the biggest thing. When you're the underdog, you have to let people know you aren't a bitch. Exactly. Like, you can be welcoming, you can take a few chances, but at the same time, you have to say, you know, we're not going to let anybody walk over us if there's a situation. But then, like I said, you see something like what happened with Stephanie Vacker, and it's going to make you a little gun shy. I don't care what promotion you're working with. Like, I know personally, like, I know many businesses when it comes to people quitting. They give their notice. They give, like, three weeks notice. Two weeks in, the guys will be escorted out the door and say, we'll pay you the extra week. Because they don't want you pulling any BS on that last day, that last week, those last couple. The last little bit to put things together. So, yeah, just... That that's the biggest thing I'm worried about right now is you just there's always a situation where people could do worse. Just glad we're getting into a situation where people could act a lot better as well. So and and it's not like we're short of wrestlers that could do good work, right? Even even if people had to go to the indie scene after this, but. Like, let's face it, you know, they're, they're, AEW's never going to have to do that because their roster is so inflated, it's scary. But if you got to go to the indie scene and pull a guy up once in a while to replace somebody that's leaving to fit a certain spot or whatnot, there is no shortage of people that can do that. And plus, you also have to make room for a lot of these up-and-comers that are making these waves. Like, I know that uh, it was infamous that the uh, Detroit Red Wings and then the Edmonton Oilers, uh, GM Ken Holland, who just recently retired, he talked about over-ripening his talent so they're more prepared than anything else to be in a, in a big spotlight. It does apply to wrestling in the same way. But the biggest difference is if you're trying to over-prepare somebody on the indies, they might go away.
Because there is no guaranteed money, right? Everybody's number five. I, I can't wait for this all star tag. The outrunners, the kind of response they're going to get in the Springfield that isn't going to, uh, the, it's the Springfield that all the media isn't at. Jesus. All right. Finally, the hot tag. I'd assume that Osprey and Gang are going to win the ch win the match tonight, because they are going to win next week. I can't see the Bucks losing the titles now that we've seen uh, Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi are training together again. I don't know if you guys saw the notes on that. There are pictures out there from Ibushi himself, indicating that they're both training again. I said it before, I'll say it again. I expect, oh God. To catch the pins a buck tonight? Maybe. Wow. A bounce into the power bomb. That was pretty dang cool. I'm, I'm sorry. I you know, Jesus, that was pretty awesome way to finish that off there. There you go. Don't get to miss the first super kick. Who's going to? It's two on one against two of the best kickers in the planet outside of football. Like, don't get me wrong, Osprey has the, an awesome super kick, but. This crowd's into it. Oh, how are we finishing this off? Uh oh. What the hell? Well, you know what this is telling me right now? This means I have to go see more Aussie Open matches. Like the trio, not just the uh, Davis and Fletcher, right? Nice switch. Okay. And Okada just said, nope. Blue Thunder Bomb, let's go! All right, there we go, let's go. Are we gonna go more bang for your buck?
TK driver. And there's your reversal. This is awesome. Just the way it's working out here. Let's put a snooze on these ads here for a bit. On the hidden blade out of nowhere. Coriolis. Okay. All right. Well, we knew a buck was going to get pinned. It wasn't going to be Okada. But yeah, Fletcher ends up getting the pin. We know the Bucks ain't losing. Like, let's not... Let's not even kid ourselves here, but... Referee's in the right spot. Right between the team and the two singles. Just an amazingly fun match, absolutely. I think that's the biggest part about this. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's the thing. Like, it's just such a fun match to watch. Like, Everything that's gone on with it is just pretty damn fantastic. Setting up. Does this show want to make you watch next week? Yes. Just straight up. Yes. Let's let's not even kid ourselves. Will next week, will Saturday's 10-man tag probably make you want to watch Grand Slam Collision? Probably. We'll find that out on Saturday, but odds are all signs paid point to yes is what the uh, magic eight ball would probably say at this point but all in all tonight like a very fun night of wrestling like that main event was great the women's match yes it ended in a dq it still showed off that yuka yuka's being treated seriously by uh mariah if uh, they have to go to a dq finish on that you got Jericho and Orange, which I hope is over now with that roll of quarters ending the feud, hopefully. Maybe you'll have to take the 10 bucks back to give back more, more money about the jacket. We got Hangman and, and, uh, and J uh, Jeff Jericho going at it. We got everything going on with the BCC and now private parties out, so... Who's going to be challenging uh, the BCC for their trios championships? I'd almost say let it be, let it be the House of Black or something, and just let let you to just eat a pin real quick. I, I still think that's the way to go to make things go go right there. But yeah, all in all, it this show here tonight. We, we could fantasy book a whole lot of stuff, but tonight is the night that uh, makes you want to come back and watch what's going to happen next week over at uh, Grand Slam in New York. So it did its job as far as I'm concerned. So I I, I think it did. A, I think tonight was an absolutely fantastic show top, top to bottom personally. But. <laughs>